Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Brew here. Alright, so uh, I finally got it fixed. Basically what I did earlier was I made a score system. Let me go ahead and show you how it looks. You gotta collect a certain amount of score, and uh, you gotta... Yeah, you gotta collect a certain amount of score before the gates open. So, uh, sorry, I'm trying to be quiet. My, uh, my pet rats are kind of sleeping, and I don't want to be too loud and wake them up. So yeah, let me go ahead and explain how this works. It is actually not that hard. So, first thing you want to do is download the, uh, the script. It's in the description. I put the link in the description. And you just want to put it somewhere, anywhere uh, underneath, anywhere underneath scene game over, or right above main, by insert, and then, yeah. Wherever you basically want to put it. And after you did, uh, did that, what you're going to do is you're going to make a parallel process. Now, what you want to do here is, like, you want to go to uh, the tab 3 on the event commands. You want to do script. And you want to do dollar sign under uh, this is all case sensitive so show then capital S score equals one uh, this is this this allows you to display the score if you want to hide it you simply type zero and your the score window will be hidden so that's how you do that the next thing you want to do is control cell switch a you're going to turn that on and then you're going to do a new event page and uh, by clicking up here and it's going to take you over to here and now what you want to do is cell, you want to check the cell switch box A is on and uh, this basically prevents it from constantly uh, activating this variable so that way if you want to deactivate it later you know th this won't uh, interact with it this won't interfere with that so now the score events this is actually slightly different basically we have a play sound effect you um, you can do that by going to 2 and then play SE. And then we have control variables. Now, I will go ahead and explain this. I uh, I have the current variable set as 1, which you can change that by going here, uh, right under when the DEF makes score, where it says uh, the tax equals for enough. You can change that by going here and just replacing the 1 with whatever variable you want to use. But for me, I decided, no, no, no. That I would use one because I didn't have any other variables. You can see the ID of the variable next to the name. So yeah, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna go to add, and you're gonna add a certain value. I chose 50. If you don't know how to get to control variables, it's right on the front page, right above cell switches. And then after that, you want to do a script by going to the third, and you're gonna type dollar sign update equals one. This will allow the text to update. If you have it update all the time. Um, like through through the script itself for some reason when you open the menu it gives an error and I know why I just don't know how to fix it <laughs> at least I think I know why in theory anyway um, then you want to do control cell switch a again you want to go to new event page you want to do you want to check the cell switch a box you can click OK you're gonna copy and paste that event all over the place so you can collect stuff now uh, for the gates it's actually a little bit different and it's really easy basically you have a gate that blocks a character and then on tab 2 which you can do by new event page again you want to check the variable box you want to check score your your variable what well, you want to select whatever variable and you want to say the amount so like how much score you have to have in order uh, to pass so all that makes this the demo will also be in the description so you know in case you don't really know how to do it all like your if that confuse you you can just play around with the demo so yeah there you go and uh, I hope this helped you guys and I hope you all enjoy and uh, yeah you can also do lives this way you can do all kinds of cool stuff with scripting so yep I'll see you guys later thanks for watching